Hello and welcome to this video on how to plot the results of a latent profile analysis in M+. My name is Christian Geiser. On this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials usually related to structural equation modeling, latent class analysis or other latent variable models and often involving the M+ software. In this video I want to show you how you can obtain a plot of the class specific means in a latent profile analysis. Typically when we run a latent profile analysis we want to find out how do the different classes differ from one another in terms of their mean profiles and so M plus has an option for plotting the means in a very straightforward way so you can take a look at those class profiles very easily. Here you can see I have an input file or a syntax for a three class solution. In this case, I analyzed five indicator variables, the so-called big five personality uh, traits, where um, ES is emotional stability, E is extraversion, O is openness, A is agreeableness, and C is conscientiousness. And so here I extracted three classes and I included the plot option in M plus that allows me to plot the means that are one result of this latent profile analysis here. So I'm already in my output window. So I already ran this analysis with the plot option that allows me to depict those indicators on the x-axis and then I have the means, uh, the scores on the y-axis in this plot. To view this plot, you go to plot and then view plots in the M plus output window after you run your latent profile analysis syntax. And then you can see that you have a bunch of options here. You can look at histograms for individual variables. You could look at scatter plots for pairs of variables. You could look at the sample means and a whole bunch of other uh, plots. And so what we pick here to view the class specific mean profiles is this option estimated means, medians, modes, and percentiles and then we click on view. The default here is that the means will be shown in the plot which is typically what we want. You could also pick the modes or medians and then the other default here is that all classes will be shown in the same plot and that's also typically what we would want because we want to compare the means, the profiles um, across classes and so this will give you a line graph with the uh, profile in each class so that you could compare them. You could also uh, create a plot where each class is depicted separately in its own plot. This would be the second option here under select view. So I'm just going to go with the defaults in this case with the estimated means and then uh, look at all classes in the same plot. I'm going to click on OK. And so here you can see now that the three classes are depicted as separate lines with different color. You have um, the means on the y-axis and on the x-axis you have the five indicators. And this is a little bit awkward in M plus because M plus does not label the x-axis here in terms of the indicators. So the first one here would be emotional stability, then extraversion, openness agreeableness and conscientiousness, but rather gives these numbers one, two, three, four, five. And then also in between uh, we have um, these decimals, which doesn't make any sense in this case. But anyway, you can see pretty clearly what the classes look like. We have class number three, the green class at the top, which has 37.2%. So that is the largest class. And this class has high scores on all of the big five personality traits. And so that is called a resilient class, or it's often referred to as a resilient class because it has all those personality characteristics that, characteristics that would be seen as beneficial. They are emotionally stable in this class, open, extroverted, agreeable, and conscientious. So that's a good thing. And then the other two classes, are lower. The second class is the blue class. They are particularly low on um, emotional stability, extraversion and openness. They are higher on agreeableness and conscientiousness. So those are called the over controllers. And then the class number one, the red class has um, inter an intermediate level of um, uh, emotional stability, extraversion and openness, and low levels of agreeableness and conscientiousness. They are referred to as 
under controller, so an, an under controller class oftentimes. And so you can see that this plot is pretty nice to compare the different classes in terms of their means. Now when you have uh, maybe other class solutions, let's say a two class model and a four class model and maybe a five class model, then you can of course plot those graphs also, those means, and then you could compare them across those different solutions. Now this isn't the prettiest plot maybe to include in a publication or presentation and so and plus has one neat option where you can save the data points that are shown here in this graph and then export them to a file and make your own graph in a different software program that may be a little bit more convenient for making a more uh, more attractive user-defined graph and so the way this works is when you click on plot and then save plot data you can save a text file that has all the data points I'm going to show you this in a minute what this looks like what you can also do if you are satisfied with the way that this graph looks and you want to include it in um, for example a presentation or something like that you could go to export plot tour and you could for example save it as a JPEG picture file and then you could include it in a PowerPoint presentation or where, wherever you wanted it now let's take a look at what the save plot data file looks like where you get your data points that then you could use in a def different software program to make a nicer graph so I already opened this I saved this file and I um, opened it or I can open it here so when I go to my um, file where I have my um, syntax this is where I saved the plot data file and so this plot data file looks like this it's a simple text file where in the first column you have your five indicators so one two three four five refers to the fi uh, five big five scale scores and then you have the class specific means here in the remaining columns and so the first column would then give the means in class one the second uh, oh, sorry the second column here gives the means in class one the third column gives the means in class two and the last column gives the means in class three you can see the class three is the one with the highest mean scores that's the resilient class and so that way you have a nice summary of your means and also you can just now use them for example in Microsoft Excel you could open this dat file uh, in for example Microsoft Excel and then make your own plot that maybe uh, look a little bit nicer and then you could also have animations in it if you wanted to for example use it in PowerPoint with Excel Excel integrates with Microsoft PowerPoint and then you could for example show one class at a time in in the PowerPoint presentation using an animation and so on so this gives you a chance to make your own graph that may look a little bit nicer than what M plus offers I hope you found this um, video useful if you did then please hit the like button also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to check out the description for additional videos and workshops and also additional services that I offer um, and I'll see you next time